Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm going to teach you how to give a dog a bath. This is Elizabeth, and we just came from the grooming room where she had had her pad shaved, ears cleaned, and she had a good brush out. We had a good size mat up here in, our, in, in her hair. The importance to brushing a dog before they get into the tub is, like I said, we had a nice mat up here. If you give them a bath before you brush them out and they have mats, the mats will bind up even tighter. It's okay, beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and give her her bath. Elizabeth is about two years <laughs> She's almost two years old now, and this truly is not her favorite thing. She's a double-coated dog. You can see how much coat she has. She's a cardigan corgi, but this is a more rare breed. The, car the cardigan corgi is a rare breed, but she's a cardigan corgi Merle. I mean, she's a cardigan corgi Brendel fluff jean. She has an abundance of hair. It's important to get that water right on down to the skin. All the way back here. Really get back here. Big, big, beautiful tail. They're so low to the ground, make sure you get all the way into the belly. dog, um, really need to reassure him, lots of love, lots of praise. You need a lot more soap than this, but for right now this will work. Okay, good girl. I am not going to be washing her face yet. It will be one of the last things that I did come on. Make sure you brew his scrub. Get the soap right down into the skin. A lot of people that have dogs like this always ask me to shave their coats down. And I'll tell you why, I don't think it's a great idea to shave their coats. A double coated dog has what's called a guard coat, which is the top coat. And you can see this fluffy undercoat here. That's her undercoat. The guard coat actually, the guard coat protects the dog from the hot summers, keeps him cooler, and helps to keep him warmer in the winter time. So it's important to keep that coat on there. You could trim it back. You can cut the guard coat, no problem. That doesn't hurt them at all. But sometimes, like for a, a Pomeranian, if you shave the coat too many times, sometimes the coat doesn't grow back or it'll grow back in sparse, very sparse. Yes, we have a lot of coat on her. People will ask me if she's a mixed breed. She's a German Shepherd, or nope, she's a sorry. There's a tangle back there. Sorry, beautiful. See, there was a tangle back here, and I had just brushed her. That's why it's so important to brush the coat. But people will ask if she's a mixed breed, just because they they don't know. Back in the 90s, there was only roughly 900 cardigans in the U.S. This little gal was imported. She, oops, she is Polish and Russian. There's only 
three major bloodlines for the cardigans in the U.S. right now. But people are breeding cardigans with Pembrokes and making American burrows. Now, when you're, when you're bathing your dog, you want to start at one corner. It doesn't matter, front, right, back, left, it doesn't matter. Always start in the same spot. This way, come on. If you get busy, if something happens, you got to put the dog in the bed for a moment, you know exactly where you left off on. You'll never forget a toenail, never forget a pad, shave a pad. You always do the same routine. And you'll get much faster and faster. Come here, Mom. I know you don't like this. Good job. What a beautiful girl. I know. And even though she gets bathed about once a week, sometimes twice, I mean, sometimes once every other week, but I try to do it once a week, you'll notice how much hair will come off her, even though she is groomed quite often. Cardigans are not like Pembroke's. They don't shed nearly as much. Good girl, love. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to a, a steady stream, holding at the back of the neck. Let the water run down. We have a lot of coat with a lot of shampoo in here. We have to make sure all the shampoo gets out of the coat, or you can actually end up having sores. You see, the water's running pretty clear. She's pretty clean. could never be shown in AKC. It's a flaw. But I think it's beautiful. Good job. Making sure to get all the shampoo out. I always stop at the top of the body. You gotta come forward. Come here. Good girl. Come forward. See, she gets scared and she starts to back away. Let's go. Keep talking to her, keep loving her. Gonna love them through it. Now remember I started with the left front. And that's where I started to rinse, the left front. Just going down the back, making sure we get all of the soap off the back. Make sure you get it right down to the skin. Make sure all that soap is out. I have a pretty good stream of hair, a pretty good stream of water going on right now. Now most double-coated dogs you would not condition. But Elizabeth, I do. I condition her on the table. I don't condition her in the bathtub. It helps to it helps to get the tangles out. Even after you've brushed and brushed and brushed, even in a bath, you still end up with tangles. So when you're drying a coat like this, it's very important to keep. It's very important to brush while you dry. I will dry her a little bit in the tub just to get most of the bulk of the water off. And then she needs to go back to the table and she'll be brushed while she's being dried out. It helps to straighten the coat. No, no, come here. Lizzie, come. Lizzie, Lizzie. Lizzie, come forward, honey. I know you don't have to stop. Come forward. Oh, better come forward. Good girl. Thank you. See, she always wants to retreat backwards. She doesn't want it like this. She's 
I'm going to check her anal sac in a second. Her anal sac is, is located right on both sides of her anus about 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Woo, there you go, shake it. If this is her anus, 3 o'clock, 9, nine, three o'clock, nine o'clock, you go in about a half an inch, you're going to find, feel, they feel like coffee beans on both sides. Little round hard nuggets. Come for him. You gently go in, push it a little bit, and pull out. Do that about three times. Lizzie, come on, Lizzie. You need to come forward. Come on, good girl. I know you don't like this. We're gonna lift her tail, we're gonna see if we have anything back here. jaw that I can feel, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead. No, come here. I know you know it's coming. I'm going to go ahead and wash her face now. This is the last thing I usually do before conditioning. I hold her face down so the water will run off her face, not going into the eyes, the nose, or we don't want to go into the ears. A lot of dogs will get debris coming out of the eyes. Their eyes weep quite a bit. So it's really important to I did that hastily. It's really important to make sure you wash wash that. Because again, that can cause infection. Important to wash that face. Okay, again, we'll do the same thing. Bring your face down. So the water rolls over top of the ears, not going in the ears. Because she has perfect ears, it's easy to get the water inside the ears, and we don't want that. That will cause infections. You should have already given your dogs. No, come here. Come here. I know. Come here. Lizzie, no. Lizzie, come here. Good girl. Thank you, Liz. Lizzie, no. Come here. Right next to Elizabeth. Come. No, you're not going to get it. Good girl. Good girl. Be careful. Once you get into the eyes, it's right up on the cheeks. Making sure you get all that soap out. Back down again. A little bit rinse. Good girl. You should have already given your dogs. Um, their ears should have already been clean. I, I do not put their toenails until after they're out of the tub. It softens their toenails. And a lot of larger breeds have very thick toenails. And after giving them a bath, Lizzie, come here. Lizzie, you gotta come over. Good girl. Woo! Thanks, Lizzie. After giving them a bath, it helps to soften the toenails, making it easier to clip them or grind them. Now this is a chamois. I'm just patting, patting down the hair, getting rid of some of the moisture, some of the bulk. Again, starting with the same leg. Lizzie, you gotta come forward. She's just so darn tiny. This is tail. And ending on the opposite leg. Here we go, Let's do this again. Elizabeth, come. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, I know you don't want this. Come. Lizzie. Yes, good job. Good girl, Liz. 
And then I'm gonna use a towel, and then she'll be dry with the dryer. Come here, Liz. Good job, baby. I'm sorry, but you have to listen. You do, I know you don't like this. I know this stuff scares you. You really don't like it, but we have to get it done. Repeating myself, going back. Taking hands. That's it. Good job. No, no, Liz, you have to hear it. Doing the same thing with the towel. Front leg, under the belly, the back leg, and see the. Good job. We have the bulk of the water is off. Now, I'm going to use the larger dryer and blow off a lot of bulk water here, and then, Lizzie, stop, please. Wonderful day.